In this video, we're going to talk about the set interval method. And really, this is the backbone of any type of animation you see in JavaScript. So we're going to animate this. And we're going to talk about set interval and what it does. We'll also talk about clear interval and, clear interval and what that does. Uh, basically, what happens is set interval starts the interval, and then clear interval stops it. So let's take a look. So what I want to do is just when the page loads, this is going to start animating this div here. And then when I click on the button, it'll stop the animation. Okay, so a couple things I want to do first is I'm going to set up a variable called position. And that's just going to hold a numerical value of where it's going to be. Okay, and then I'm going to set up the set interval function. And what it needs to know is what function is going to run and how often. So it's a lot like um, set timeout. So I'm just going to have an internal uh, anonymous function here, and I'm going to have it run every second. Okay, and what I want it to do is change some certain things. I want to use a style property, and I'm basically going to tell this to every second. I'm going to tell this to move down, I don't know, one pixel, two pixel, five pixels, whatever, and then I'm going to tell it to go over to the left pixels, a couple pixels as well. So to be able to mess with this div and play around with it, I need, I'm going to put it inside a variable as well. So I'll just do that here at the top. I'll call it D. We'll say document.getElement by ID, and I'm going to grab move me, and we'll just store it in there. Okay, so now this whole div is stored inside of this D variable. And now that I've done that, I can access and change the properties of this div. So I'll be able to say D.style. Uh, dot left is going to be equal to whatever position is. Okay, now the way I got to do this though is if I were to put in this, if I was going to put in just an, a value, I could say something about, I'd have to say five pixels. I got to tell how far to the left I want it to move. But because I'm using this position variable, um, I'm going to have to concatenate px onto it. So I'll say position concatenate px onto it. Now every time this runs though I want position to increment a little bit. So I'm going to say here position plus equals I'll just say 5 for now. Okay so what this is going to do is it's going to run this function every second and it won't stop until I tell it to. That's what set interval does is it runs a function function over and over and over and over until I tell it stop. If I don't ever tell it stop it'll just run forever. Okay, uh, now if I run this though, okay, I refresh. It's still not moving because it doesn't know what type of positioning I'm doing. So I got to come over to this div and I got to give it a position. That's one of the things you got to do to be able to get things to animate uh, with JavaScript. Okay, and now we can see that it's working. Okay, so every second it adds five to the position, so it moves over five pixels. Okay, and I can add to that if I want. I could say, okay, I'm gonna duplicate this line, control D, and I'll say, all right, I want it to go to the left and go down as well. Okay, so now it's starting at the top. Now you can see it kinda, it starts down here and goes up because I set position equal to zero. So the first time this runs, position is zero pixels, left is zero pixels, and top is left pixels as well. So now it's just going to kind of slowly go. Now if I want this to go faster, I can tell it to run every 100 milliseconds. Okay, and we can see that it's starting to move a little bit smoother, and it's starting to move a little bit faster. Or if I want to, I could make it every 10 milliseconds, and then I could say move one pixel instead of five. Okay, now I'm getting a lot more smooth of motion here. Okay. Now, another thing I could add, which is kind of cool, is I could do this. And I could say, all right, I'm going to do a transform. And the way this works in CSS is I have to say transform. And then I say rotate. And then however many rotate or however many degrees I want it to rotate. So it looks kind of like that. So I gotta 
do that in JavaScript. So I got transform is going to be equal to the so string of rotate. And then I got to have my parentheses. And then I'm going to concatenate whatever position is. And then I'm going to concatenate onto that whatever degree is, or, I got, or the, the string degree. And then close out with the parentheses there. And then I don't need that. Okay, so now every time it runs, every 10 milliseconds, position is going to be rotating it as well. So now it should start spinning around. Okay, which it does. So now it actually kind of looks like it's tumbling, which is kind of cool. So a bunch of different things you can do with this animation stuff. Now, the problem is right now when I hit stop, it doesn't stop. Okay, so I need to do that. And it's pretty simple. To get it to stop, all I need to do is set the set interval equal to a variable. So I could call it animate is equal to the set interval. Okay, it should still work, no problem. But now this set interval is stored inside of a variable. So all I got to do now is I come over to my button. I have an on click equals stop. So I'm going to have to create that function. So function stop. And all I need to say is clear interval. And I'm going to clear the interval that's stored inside of animate, which is right there. Okay, so I refresh, it's going, I hit stop, and then it does, it stops. Okay, so that's just a little example of the power of set interval. And if you ever animate inside of JavaScript, this is kind of the backbone of that, that it's able to run a function however many times per second you want it to. And then if you just manipulate these different properties every time it runs, you can start to get animation. And then if you put that set interval inside of a variable, then all you got to do is do that clear interval, feed the variable into it that the set interval is stored in, and then you're good to go.